Hey guys, this is Douglas Leal, and I'm going to teach you guys how to use the flare tool in Illustrator 6 or Illustrator CS6. So you can see here in this image we already have one out, but let's delete it so we can work on it ourselves. So where is the flare tool indicated? Well, it's right under the text tool, and it's the where the rectangle tool is at. You scroll and you hold and you click left click, and then you go all the way down, and there's the flare tool. It's right there. Now that we have the flare tool out, let's uh, let's use it. So let's first decide we want to put our flare tool. So we first we left let's delete that. So we left click and we drag, and now our flare is getting bigger. You can see there's two main components in the flare. There's the rays and the halos, and each has lighting and um one lights different ways so the rays are where the rays are going to stick out and they'll light up that certain area and the halo is where the light will change and be there too okay so but now let's say we didn't want it to be that big or as you can see every time I make it bigger the flare rotates and goes around and spins and other things so let's stop it from rotating so if we want to stop it from rotating we play shift or command on the max but on PC we play we press shift. And now we can we can make our flare big as we want without our rays moving around and rotating in different places. You can see that. But let's say, you know what, we didn't want our our we decided, you know what, we don't want the, the flare to be over here on the top corner. So we press this hold the space bar down, and now we can move our flare around to wherever we would like to place it. Um, if we would hold shift in the space bar or shift and space command and space bar. Now we can move the array, the flare, wherever we like and wherever we choose without moving the the flare. Okay, so let's decide that we want the flare to be this big and it's right over here. Now that gives us the light, but if we want to make it look like the camera lens effect, we simply left click again, or we choose, and now the flare has the camera effect and as you can see it's right there um, you don't have to have the full flare inside and you can have it inside like that or you can have it completely out it depends I sometimes you know you don't need the full flare what if you just want that to show then you have that part of the flare but now let's say we want the flare over here and we want it to be in the middle of the picture but we want it to be bright we want it to show but you know what we don't want the flare to be on top of the dancer so we're going to put the flare, we're going to go to opacity, and we're going to lower the opacity of the flare. And by lowering the opacity of the flare, we can, we can now decide where to put the flare, or how, to, how to arrange the flare, and in what areas we want the flare. So, um, but there's also another way we can do this. Say you don't want to lower the opacity of the flare and you want to keep it at 100 because you want this part right here to show a lot well then you can just easily arrange the flare to go to the back send to the back and then you send this big screen which we have your your big background screen you need that send it back to the back and now you have the opacity which you wanted and the flare in the background and it changes the view of where the light's coming from because now it's not coming from where you're at the point of view it's coming from the back so that's another cool trick but we can also use the flare tool as an art piece if we wish to choose to. So I created this one to show you guys. We have this one, and you can make these, and this, and a bunch of different shapes. Let's talk about how we're going to do this. Now, I find that bright colors, cool colors, dark colors, saturated colors, warm colors work the best. Soft and light, you can't see much, and anything in white, there's nothing to show. So. Let's pick a cool color. I like picking the cool color. So let's pick let's pick this purple. I like this purple. I like how it shows on this purple. So um, let's change it to this purple. Okay, so now this purple is here. Click our flare tool. And we're going to make a flare. Um, uh, in the flare tool, if we want to add the arrays or lower the arrays, I forgot if I don't know if I told you, do you go to your uh, arrow pad? And if you click up, you add arrays. If you go down, you decrease the arrays. The arrays. Add the arrays and down. So up and down on the arrow pads 
allowed to increase the arrays or decrease the arrays. So let's place our fair here. And for this, I don't I don't take out the camera lens. I I don't care too much for it, but well, make it here. Let's make it tight. Let's make it that big. All right. So now that we have our selected our flare, and we lose the select tool, the black select tool. Let us go to effects and let us affect our flare. Now I go to distort and transform. And you can miss to just try any of these and see what happens. But just go to Distort and Transform. And with Distort and Transform, you just angle the flare and that's whatever direction we choose to angle it at. Um, I like to angle it small so we can make a lot of them. And let's put this horizontally here and vertically here. And how many copies. Now, this depending on how the shape is, you're going to have to, you can even preview it. See now, now that we have shaped the flare, we've moved it. Now let's say we want, let's see 20 copies, how 20 copy looks. Or let's say, let's just put 30. Okay, voila. See, now we have this beautiful, it looks like a flower. It's a beautiful art piece. It looks real cool. Um, but I want to show you something. If I expand my circle now, do you see it changes? Now if I really decrease it, make it really small, my lines change. So you can literally make different types of art. So it's up to you. This looks pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, if you, if you want it to look like the flower, it's cool. So um, you could even probably make another one around it and make them look different colors and so have cool different shapes and stuff. So, but yeah, play with it, do what you want with it, and this is how to use the flare tool and CS6 Illustrator. Again, CS6 Illustrator, and you can change the colors. Sometimes it makes it look cool. See, yeah. Now you got the white showing. This. So, all right. Well, thank you for everything, and I hope you enjoyed the video.